Do I still need a sign to believe? A blessed day, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. After winning several conference finals and a trip to the NBA Finals in the 2021-2022 season, the Boston Celtics finally won the 2023-2024 NBA Championship amid doubts and criticism. Prior to backing the Larry O'Brien Trophy, the team was consistently maligned and pressured to deliver after failing to win several times. There were calls to break up the Tatum and Brown duo to trade either one since many experts believed their talents didn't complement each other. This was despite having been together for seven years. Many fans also demanded that head coach Joe Mazzula be replaced. Sportscasters and the media in general were not too fond of the Celtics, with many predicting that the Dallas Mavericks would emerge as the champions. But first, let me thank God. These were the words displayed on the t-shirt that head coach Joe Mazzula wore during the celebration ceremony following the team's victory. He further said, First of all, the most important thing for us, for me, is our faith, and we have the number one fans in the world. He also noted that being in the position to coach the Celtics was a blessing. I don't deserve it, but because of grace, I'm here. Joe is always seen going around the court several hours before the game, praying the rosary. Mazzola's faith seems to have rubbed off to the Celtics organization and players. He recently said, If we win the championship this year, we are flying to Jerusalem and we are walking from Jericho to Jerusalem. He explained how his trip there several years ago had radically transformed his faith. The influence of his faith on his players seemed to manifest on how the players spoke about their faith immediately after their victory. Jason Tatum said, First of all, God is the greatest, not because we won, but to put me in positions to maximize my God-given ability, to surround me with these guys and my family. This is an incredible feeling. Jalen Brown on his part said the following in his post-game interview. For me, my faith is most high and in just believing in my teammates and my coaching staff and just being grateful. Al Horford, the veteran, chanted, Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios, glory, glory to the Lord, to the crowd, and to the reporters after they won. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus' doubters put him to the test by asking for a sign. Jesus often encountered this scenario clearly showing the unbelief in the Jews' hearts. Yet, they were completely blind to God's presence in Jesus' ministry. Jesus declared in the Gospel reading that it is by the finger of God that He casts out demons from people. God is powerfully at work in His ministry if only people had eyes to see it. Therefore, the challenge for Jesus to give a spectacular sign 
was unnecessary. We too can be overly fascinated by the unusual when we speak of our relationship with the Lord. We fail to see the ways that the Lord is present among us in and through the goodness, kindness, and generosity of others, as well as in the selfless service that people show each other in all kinds of ordinary and simple ways. Moreover, we fail to see expressions of love that people show to one another. We certainly can miss the deeper and more meaningful God encounter moments if we fail to appreciate God's presence around us. In the same manner, the way the Boston Celtics head coach Joe Mazzula and his players gave glory to God through the game of basketball is something to behold. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, the Lord of all, grant us the grace to have an open heart and a firm resolve to constantly give you glory. Help us appreciate your presence in all things and situations, even in the ordinary happenings of our daily lives. Jesus, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families. God bless our Catholic faith. And couples for Christ.